a bad feeling about this room. This is a structure gel casing. Top stat XTL UG. This is, looks like how the, the WoW was growing, maybe. These are the little spores, as we call them. Core. Tau, Alpha, Omega Space Gun. Oh, this will be good. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Glasarkovsky, Coatsy, and I survived. Eau Claire is in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. Coatsy made a run for it to check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it on herself. People from the Plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us they wanted to use the Omega Space Gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in this afterlife. Some of the engineers returned to Phi. Apparently they postponed the Ark launch. They were all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from. Except for one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure out this arc business... To figure this arc business out. But they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on that mission. I will finally get to warn Dal and Sarang about the critical situation at Site Alpha. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. Uh -huh. So far, it's exceeding expectations. I would say so. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. 
So he wants to terminate the WoW. I don't know if... It's taking control of him or what happened exactly. But what I do know is we want to hit the dive room and get out of here. We'll call down the arc when we get there. What is that? I don't know where that dripping noise is coming from. really happening Unable to equalize pressure. Oh shit. Oh shit. Answers my question about the arc being okay underwater. We'll go ahead and clear a path. Wait, what? Where is it? Did it fall? Where'd it go? Oh, 
This doesn't make any sense. No. What's happening? Oh! Yeah, I got that from the drawings on your wall. You see all these, like, I'll call them roots, but... computer system. Tell me what you want. I need you to stop the world. Yeah, we know what? that. How? The enslaved protein sloshing around your suit is the news from which the world will hang itself. What are you talking about? As soon as I came to an Omicron, I tried to tell them to make the toxin that would make the world wither. But they didn't understand. They built inside the cabinet was so infuriating. They needed to take it to Alpha. Fountainhead of the misery we created. And the girl. She figured it out. She was going to take care of it, but the wow shrieked. They all died. You. You. You took the gel from the cabinet and made yourself into a venomous snake. You're saying this toxin inside of me can kill the wow? 
All together? You are the snake, son. Now strike at the heart. Oh, I think he was at the end there. Or it takes control of me. Come on, do it. Have we considered that alternative? You can't leave. We're not done. I mean, I don't know if this is a great idea. Take it easy. Man, I don't, I don't. Just force your arm inside it. Back off, okay? Oh my God, what do we do? I don't think I, I don't trust this guy. Please, Simon. Consumed by wow's nightmares. Oh, he's not going to be happy about this. Hey, Simon. Humanity will suffer for an eternity. If you don't finish this, I'll make you. think or Shit. Cool. No, no, no. No. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, not out here. Stay by the lights. Come 
Come on. me here. Holy shit. Come on, let me in. would be good. Man, I don't know if that wow situation... Oh, I don't know. Like, you don't know who to trust. And he was like, Adam, and he'll, I'll make you do it. And then this has that to be thing fun, came out. Right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. That thing killed Ross. But then it also, like, it was attacking us, it seems, but he also brought us here. So I'm not sure what to believe now. What I do know is we need to find a spore. Actually, but we're back on schedule now. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Yeah, if it was only that easy. Oh, we've got a computer All system. Phi right. is up and running. Okay, so we're in the control deck. We've got auxiliary control right outside the door to the left. We've got storage over here. And then... Whatever, assembly. A satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the barrel. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before aggression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. Seems simple. Okay, tunnel transport. Phi cargo bay contents the Ark. Okay, that is good. Requires manual offload. Fine, at least it's there. 
Staff activity incoming. Herbert Peterson, Linwall, Chun, Ivashkin, Hill. Outgoing. Peterson, Linwall, Ivashkin, Hill. Activity unsigned. R. Herbert visit. Launching the arc. One last visit. Hmm. Okay, launch log, Hamatsu, orbital platform freighter, mission completed, lunar prospects, remote sensing satellite, mission completed. Week 49, orbital platform freighter, um, communication satellite. 490, orbital platform freighter, reconnaissance satellite. Orbital platform freighter, oh, it's on hold, weather satellite. After 10 years of impeccable operation on the Omega space, Oh, the Omega Space Gun will shut down, but it took an apocalypse to be made redundant. Okay. Now, we saw the... Cargo's off to the right. Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the Space Gun. Yeah, yeah, me too. I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. I'm just gonna check the service area. Power relays. Everything seems to be functioning. This feels like the longest day of my life. Nice. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. May 11th, 2104. <sighs> Rations already moved to Tau. Get your ass over there if you're hungry, Kofsky. You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. <laughs> does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Simon. Who am I? We're still us. We just have a different physical container. That's kind of the way I think about it. It's a gross oversimplification as well, but... It's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Might change my mind about the Ark. Track runs in here, so. What will you do when you get into the arc? What's the first thing? Make Let's sure the arc is safe, rooms. stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. What's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. Watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? I'd say so. Oh, good. Something hit the ground, something metal. That's not a very good sign. Do we need to take this battery again? No, I guess not.
loading platform would make sense. We need batteries. Or I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the arc. But now, if we want to get this running, we do need a battery pack. I'm wondering if we could take that other one out. Yes. It's working! Second. Is that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something! I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them. To launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the arc. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not gonna let you ruin this! Stop it! Guys, calm down! Get away from me! No! What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine... Oh, God. Oh, Catherine. God is right. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you... Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. In what sense? I can, like, we were talking about this before when we first heard about the Ark. Like, why do we even have to launch it into space? How did she die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. Might as well take this battery. I'm sure it was an accident, but at the How same did time... How kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. The thing is, is you know, I... If it needs some type of ongoing power source, like if it's solar or whatever, you can make the argument that it needs to be in space. And I think that's one of Did the you have one of the cruxes. In Toronto, Simon? Real friends. There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. Now what? Now we just need to get the shell into the gun and then kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega space gun with your bare hands. You mean, it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. 
Now, oh, take that's the interesting. And plug it in next to the seat, and I'll guide you through the final steps. Oh, okay. So I was kind of wondering, it's like, okay, we're gonna go launch this thing, and then we're gonna know that they are off surviving, and we are here. And I say they saying, but it's also we. Like, every time you say it, it doesn't, you know, it's tough. Well, here we go. Oh, there it is. 